Hi, this is an open letter to Warner Brothers about your Dungeons and Dragons 2018 movie. And um, and so basically, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna summarize it. The movie is broken, and here's the fix. And so let me jump into it. So my name is Scott Garibay. I've been a Dungeons and Dragons player since uh, 1982. Um, and the game is very precious to me. Uh, I own every single version, you know, a version one, two, three, four, and five of the game. Um, and, you know, player's handbook, monster manual, dungeon master guide. And, um, and I've been thinking a lot about your movie. I'm very excited. I will take my entire family to see it regardless. Um, and I really want to say thank you to guys for, to you guys for buying the, you know, buying the rights to make a Dungeons and Dragons film. And I really appreciate that you're bringing it forward. But I, I am highly concerned, and the reason why is everything I am seeing online is saying that you guys are going to make a, a, a logically a movie about a fantasy film about heroes and monsters. Okay, and I, I definitely understand why you ended up there, you know, creating a, a, a Dungeons and Dragons film. But that's not what's special about Dungeons and Dragons. So if you want to make a great fantasy movie. Uh, you should go buy Joe Abercrombie's script for the first law, and um, that would be a, a hugely amazing, awesome fantasy world. And there's lots of great, hugely awesome fantasy worlds out there that were written by authors. Uh, you know, Brandon Sanderson, uh, Way of Kings, uh, all those, you know, there's just much, much better worlds. And the reason why is those are carefully crafted by authors, right? But Dungeons and Dragons are collaborative stories that are told together by players, okay? And the worlds of Dungeons and Dragons, Planescape and um, Faerun and Dark Sun and Ravenloft, uh, they're, they're good worlds, but they're certainly not the best fantasy worlds out there. And by and large, they're derivative. And that's perfectly okay for them to be derivative because... Their purpose is to create a, an environment where players play together. So my concern is when you go to make this movie, it looks like you're going to put heroes on, you know, hero characters up and monsters and they're going to fight. OK, now the problem with that is you can get that in any fantasy film. Right. But this is Dungeons and Dragons. And what's truly special about the Dungeons and Dragons movie is you have the possibility to tell a story on our world and on a fantasy world and show how those two worlds interact because that's actually what happens at every single Dungeons and Dragons table when players sit down together they are bonded in friendship right and at that point they go about the intellectual exercise of collaboratively telling a story together and building a world together okay now i've sat at tables where a very shy uh, person came in and they play, you know, um, and then they played a half work barbarian, right? And there is an interaction between the mindset of that person on this world and what's happening with that character in that fantasy world. And that is a psychological link, right? It's deep and it's important. And mature audiences and modern audiences are exactly the kind of audiences to see this kind of story told on multiple worlds that you can't tell with any other fantasy or with any other fantasy book. Like you can buy a fantasy book and tell a hero versus monster story. You, you don't need Dungeons and Dragons to do that. And you'd be better off getting any number of amazing, um, you know, lives of Locke Lamora. There's just so many great fantasy novels out there waiting to be made. But there is a distinct opportunity that can only be done with the Dungeons and Dragons movie. And that is telling the story of the players on Earth and the player characters on that D&D &D world. And how the emotions and the thoughts of the player is directly linked to the actions of the player character right? That is a deep psychological, emotional, um, cultural story that has layers and depth and value and pure uniqueness that cannot come from just buying a fantasy novel, right? So I please, I am encouraging you, please go about the, you know, doing the Dungeons and Dragons movie 
in creating it in the way that only a Dungeons and Dragons movie can actually allow you to tell a fantasy story. And one of the things that's really great is, um, you know, you'll you'll be able to continue to tell this for decades to come because you'll just be telling it from different um, different tables, right? So tables are launch, you know, tables are the launching pads for these fantasy realms and these fantasy worlds, and the stories that are told through Dungeons and Dragons are not like any novel you can buy. They will, you know, they allow a script and a story that is untellable by any author, okay? Because they are a story being told together and a story where the game master does, the dungeon master does not even know the ending, right? And again, that kind of passion and that kind of unpredictability and that kind of collaboration that is what is at the heart of a Dungeons and Dragons movie. And I, uh, you know, I know you guys are in the middle of it now, but uh, Rogue One was in trouble and they pulled that movie out. And I know you guys can pull this out too. Um, please consider this. And, and uh, if you guys don't do this, right, and you go and you just make a bog standard fantasy movie, I will be there. I will buy as many tickets as I can buy. I'll bring my family of my wife and my four kids even if they don't want to see it. <laughs> I'll be, I'm in your corner. I'm in your recorder regardless. But please give this some thought. And I really want to say thank you for doing, uh, for buying the license and going forward. But please consider this, because I really think that with the Dungeons & Dragons movie, there's an opportunity to tell a story that cannot be told with any fantasy novel on Earth. And I think you're kind of going down that road right now. And, and there's really this unique opportunity. So give it some thought. Thank you very much. And thank you once again for even attempting to do a Dungeons & Dragons movie. I know it's a difficult task. Uh, I believe in you guys. Just please give this some thought. Take care.